I found Yuhan. Um, I did a little bit of research about him. Uh, found out that he recently joined the Foundation Clinic, but his backstory and what he went through is something that South Africa definitely needs to hear. This is your opening link, so just give us that positive side of this story as per your research. Cool. Lovely. Action. Today I'm at the Foundation Clinic, a recovery center for substance abuse, and I have a remarkable man with a remarkable story waiting for me. No one more? Two flats. Action. Today I am at the Foundation Clinic. We do the opening link twice. Look, it's a feel-good story, but at the end of the day, I don't want to seem too excited about being at a clinic. So finding the right balance of how much energy I need to portray on camera is, is the reason why we're doing this twice. So I don't know how presenters work and how, how they go about doing their stuff, but Nathaniel called me two days before um, and he started asking me questions to build rapport with me, but also just to find out about me. He told me about the whole process and how everything's going to work. He made me feel comfortable and I really, really appreciated that about him. And then when I met him, he was just so authentic and we just hit it off. Johan, I'm so glad to be meeting you. The treatment center is not just for substance abuse. You guys do more than that, right? Yes, yeah. We a non-profit organization and we look at training recovery coaches, treating the disease of addiction and empowering people. Finally meeting Yuhan and he's a ball of energy, a ball of love, a ball of light. Definitely the kind of guy that you can sit down and have a very long conversation about, but warm individual from the get-go. Yuhan, addiction is obviously something that you had struggled with in the past yes. and it is the reason why you're here. And this wasn't always your home. Yeah. What was home? So home was out there on the streets. I was a beggar. I was one of the, the guys that you would see standing there with a cup in the middle of the road, dirty, with a beard, full of lice, begging for money. Yeah. Begging for money for food, but begging for money for drugs. The complete process of dehumanization that that caused me yeah. got me eventually to a point after two and a half years where I realized that this is not what I want and I'm dying. I'm listening to Yuhan express his experiences and I won't lie, this one really hits you, you know, emotionally. There's a chord that's struck and I'm trying to think energy, 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 but you know, I genuinely am getting a bit emotional and uh, feeling a bit of a, a frog in my throat, but um, it's all worth it. And this is why I'm here, you know, it just changes your perspective. Something that, um, Makes you really think twice about how you treat your fellow human. I've done some research on you. <laughs> you are fundraising at schools, you are speaking at schools. Why is it so important for you to give back? Because for me, connecting with other people and inspire other people and help other people is how I stay clean. And there's actually a room we can go to and I can go show you what I do. I told you this guy's remarkable. Let's go. Um, so Nathaniel, this is our wellness group and these are all my friends that I do it with. How are you guys doing? Yeah. Fantastic, man. Fantastic. How's my man? When I asked Nathaniel to join us in our wellness circle, um, I was a bit nervous because real stuff happens there. But he came in and he listened and I could see him connect, not just with me, but with everybody else. And I could honestly see that something changed there with him. I, I won't lie. I am truly, truly mesmerized. And what you guys, I mean, the connection in there, everybody understood your story, they connected to your story so much. Thank you, thank Have you. a seat. It's as if I was part of this group, very inviting group. Is this what always happens? Yes, so part of what happens is, you know, um, we get taught here that, that the opposite of addiction is connection. And what you felt in that room is the human experience of connection, connecting to each other's pain, yeah. but also, you know, connecting to overcoming stuff. You and I can tell you now, cameras aside, Show aside, in the beginning of the link, I said that I'm going to be talking to a remarkable man. And I told you that he has a remarkable story. You have inspired me. Thank you so much. It's my honor. It's extremely my honor. I think the emotional intelligence and the empathy you have to show with a, a story so sensitive. So I think I've managed to find that balance of making sure that I relay the story, give the energy that it needs, but also be as empathetic as I possibly can. Um, and on a personal note, it's, it's really inspired me. So all around, very, very feel good story. I deal with a lot of presenters and I deal with a lot of public and press and so forth. And the way I found Nathaniel was incredibly professional yet also very human. He didn't want to be over the top, he was just real about it. 